All right, we are live. April 3rd, 2024. I had to check the year. That's how confused I am. It's April 3rd, 2024. Make sure. Okay. I don't know where the time is going. By the way, it is live chat number 155. I remember sitting on, like, I did, like, a little tiny random live stream. Like, just randomly tried out. And I was like, would you guys want me to do, like, a weekly live stream? And people were like, yeah, do a weekly live stream. I was like, all right, I'll try it. And now we're 155 in. And how, who knows how many actual live streams I've done. That's just a weekly Wednesday live stream. But, uh, yeah. I'm back. It is April 3rd. We're at 19,420 subscribers. Somehow I just faced these boom and bust periods where we've gained 3,000 subscribers in the last 28 days. But in the last 7 days, I've only gained like 300 subs. Which is absolutely annoying as hell somehow. But it's just the way it ha what happens sometimes. But yeah, hopefully, I think we're going to hit 20K. I think we'll hit 20K before UFC 300, which was the goal. The sickness, which is weirdly enough, the last two times I've gotten sick, it's like lingered around a little bit. I still have like a little linger of a cough. I feel fine, but I have a linger of a cough and it's so annoying. And, uh, but yeah, that screwed me over three days. But I hope you guys watched the Chris Weidman video because that, Piece of shit deserves to be criticized over and over and over again because he's genuinely just a piece of shit. Genuinely just a piece of shit. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see. Hold on. Let me, let me check one more thing real quick. I think I read this, but yeah, we're at 19,420 subs. No, I'm curious. I haven't checked in a while. How many views we got now? We're almost at 5 million views, which is pretty crazy. I remember getting the first million. But yeah, hopefully I get some banger videos out. I already have one in the bank right now. Top three reasons I hate UFC 300. It's already ready to go. Overlap, thank you for the 199. This is Overlap, the real one. I'm in here. Is that the real Overlap? I don't know if that's the real Overlap. The 199 has me awfully suspicious. But uh, thank you. Overlap 618. Thank you for the 199. I greatly appreciate your support of independent MMA media. Looks like you're going to reach your goal of 20K before 300. I don't know. Probably, but yeah. So, just watch your UFC 300 rating video. How crazy is it that Jalen Turner versus Moikon is rated so low on the card? That crazy the whole, as a whole card is stacked. I agree, dude. The card is insane. The only fight that I absolutely hate is the Bo Nickel fight, which I obviously made that very clear in the video. That's the only fight that I that I don't like. So, double eye poke to ground and pound is crazy. Uh, UFC 301, 302, Makashev versus Poirier, Umar, Sanhagen, possible. Makashev, Poirier, almost definitely going to happen at 302. I just know it. I just know it. The way the UFC has been... Just completely botching the lightweight division over the last six months. Yeah. So. It is what it is. What's the word? What's up? The real overlap is in the chat. Um, Chris Weidman. No. Chris Wildman. What's going on, Joey? What's up, Andrew John? Hope you're doing well. What's your prediction? What's your prediction for Armin versus Oliveira? I don't know, dude. Oh my god. And I gotta figure it out in the next couple days. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know who I'm picking. I genuinely don't know who I'm picking. I don't know who I'm picking in Charles Oliveira. Armin Saryuki. <laughs> Who the hell do I pick? I don't know who to pick in that fight. It's so difficult. Fight Life Nation, thank you for the 499. That's a fake overlap. He doesn't have the guts to double this dono. Well, as you said that, he donoed 499 apparently. So we'll see. We'll see if he has the guts to double it. Overlap, thank you for the 499. Not DQ in that little worm Chris Weidman sets a bad precedent. Precedent. Where if you are up on the scorecard, you can eye gouge and go to the judges and win. Basically, yeah. Weidman's a fucking clown, dude. 
Weidman's a clown, dude. But yeah, it does set a bad precedent. I agree. But Fight Live Nation called you out, Overlap, so you better go read his message. I don't know who I'm picking in Armin versus Oliveira, and I got to get started on predictions. It's about to be Thursday. In six minutes, it's Thursday. Oh, my God. I'm so stressed. I don't know who to pick. Joe, you've been slacking no video or online yesterday. I recorded a video last night, but it just took too long, so I didn't want to release it at 1 a.m., so I released it today. But you got two videos today, so stop, stop clowning around, buddy. You got two videos today. And I have another video waiting in the bank. I don't know who I'm picking in Armin Oliveira. Who are you guys picking in Armin Oliveira? Just watch UFC 300. We have the same list except KT Max and Yuri Rockage fights are switched. Fair enough. Sub so, Joey Charles wins, bro. You know it. You literally known who Charles is for years. He's not losing. I just don't know, man. I don't know. Armin might be the guy. The young, up and coming dude who finally gets it done. I my gut right now is leaning is leaning Armin. But I don't know who to pick. I have to watch their fights. Overlap. Look, overlap put fight life to shame. This is the real overlap, you worms. Can Dustin beat Islam? Also stop poking me for more money. I'll drop this baby to 99 cents. This is <laughs> Hey, you have to take that up with fight life, bro. You have to take that up with fight life, overlap. Can Dustin beat Islam? No. No, I don't think he can, dude. What's he going to KO Islam? I think Islam's better on the feet, honestly. I know that's hot take, but MMA striking, fear of the grappling. I think I think uh, Islam easily just rear, rear naked choke win for Islam. Easy work against Dustin Poirier. Thank you for the 999 overlap. I really do appreciate it, man. I think Hill's too fast for Pereira. Hill also... Like, when have we ever seen him rocked? And I think Pereira is so overrated. And I think Hill will grapple if he needs to. I think he will grapple if he needs to. I think Hill will mix in the grappling. But it's hard to say. Armin destroys Charles. I don't know. Oliveira, second round TKO. I don't know, man. I got to watch some fights. Joe, thoughts on Ray Longo admitting he bet on Weidman? That's crazy. Where, where'd, that, where'd that happen? Where'd that happen? I need to see that. Who would you like to see Bo Nickel fight instead of Bumdage? I'd like to see him versus Andre Muniz. Andre Muniz is a good option. <sighs> Fuck, you took my answer. Andre Muniz was the answer. Something like Andre Muniz. Or... Maybe Paul Craig, I think, would be kind of interesting. Kyle Baraglio, but the UFC would never do that. Alex has terrible boxing defense. Dude, he gets touched up all the time. And people act like he's a god on the feet. I'm leaning Hill right now. Interview with Ank? That's crazy, dude. Send me that clip on IG or something. Or let me know a timestamp of where it's at and where I can find it exactly. Dustin's better than Islam in boxing range only. And in the range, Islam will grapple him and not stay in the pocket. Yeah, but Dustin's going to be terrified of the takedown. Book Ruzaboya versus Weidman. Yeah, I, if I'm Weidman's next opponent, I immediately double eye poke him. Intentionally. Um. Yeah. Um. Joey, did you forgive Weidman when he apologized to Anderson for celebrating after the leg break and posing with fans? I did for a while, but after this, I take it back. 100%. I hate it, Weidman. But after he broke his leg, I felt like he paid his debt. I, I genuinely felt like he paid his debt and I was forgiven. And I, now I no, I don't. I want him to nothing but brain damage and CTE and being brutally KO'd. And that's an eye gouges as well. I want him to lose his next fight and I want him to get eye gouged multiple times. And I want to listen to him cry post fights. I got eye poked. But yeah, Derek, thank you for the 999, man. I appreciate it very much. Uh, Chris Weidman's a total piece of shit, and I went off of him in my recent video. If you have not checked out that video, please do me a favor, check out that video. Dude's a piece of shit. Joe, are you proud? No. 
What's up, Joey? Opinions on the Pereira fan base slowly becoming the worst fan bases in MMA. They don't do. I've been saying Pereira fan base. I, I've been saying their shit for a while, and also what it is is they're the uh, they're the fan base that just disliked Izzy, so they jumped on the Pereira train, train because he won a fight against Izzy. Um. Yeah, Joey. How do you deal with internet trolls? I just, for me, I'm built different, so I just don't care. But mainly ignore them. You know, sometimes I respond to them, but mainly just ignore them. Um, I, I just don't care what random online dudes. But they're they're just a, they're just stupid. They have no lives. So I honestly, in a way, I feel bad for them. But like, I just ignore them basically. Don't give them the satisfaction, even though I want to. I want to respond to them, but yeah, I just don't care what they have to say. I'm trying to I'm trying to build something of quality and there's no sense in, in giving them any entertainment at all. So just ignore them. Um, Alex was getting tagged while sparring an influencer. I did not know that UFC three or two was looking mid. They need a big main event. That's Islam Poirier. Dude, I don't even like that fight. We need, we need to go back and rewatch all Wyman's fights. See how dirty this man's been his entire career. Dude, he begged for a DQ against Gegard Mousasi for legal knees. Um, get off, get off Weedman's dick. Yeah, we're gonna call him Weedman for now on. Get off Weedman's dick. Yeah, I'm on Weedman's dick because dude's a cheater, an egregious cheater, and a fucking clown. Okay, we get it. We get it. Ray Longo's burner. We get it. Fuck you, Mr. Krabs without a shell. You see Hernandez talking trash about Damon Jackson calling him homosexual. That is completely misrepresenting what he said. Somebody, some media member who was a straight up clown was like, yeah, uh, Damon Jackson said he doesn't like you because you talk shit about Cowboy 10 years ago. And he said, that's kind of homosexual to hold another man's thing like that. So, yes, I saw it, but I feel like you misrepresented it a bit. So, all those full mount MMA, MMA news channels just throw out absolute crap all the time. Unsubscribe to all those. You should unsubscribe to all of them. They're just looking for whatever. Weidman is a D-head. Weidman is a D-head, but you're milking it. I don't understand how I'm milking anything. The only thing I've been milking is your mother. All right, buddy? <laughs> I'm not milking anything. You got to admit that I poke combo was dope. It was not dope. How did Wyman cheat? They never took a point. I know. I have not gotten a chance to watch your prediction, but who do you think wins, Dumont or JDR? I think JDR wins. I'm still shocked. She's an underdog. Dude, JDR hasn't fought in four years. I had to pick Dumont. I had to pick Dumont. Just because she hasn't been out for four years. So. Bruh. Yeah, I've been milking your mother. That's the only thing I've been milking lately. <laughs> Derek, what'd you think of that hairline I sent you earlier? What'd you think of that hairline I sent you earlier? I forgot about the Musasi fight. He tried to get a DQ win. I know. He wanted a DQ and then the referee said, no, those were legal knees. Wyvin well, was not blaming the glove. Dude, I'm tired of motherfuckers making excuses. Own up. Own up to where you made a mistake. And that's advice that you can take in uh into life. Own up. Own the fuck up when you make a mistake. I saw a video of Dean Thomas rapping or whatever about Wyman fingering his opponent like a dude. And his date on prom night. Okay. Combat Core's mom is actually his dad. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, I see you're just talking shit. Weidman was about to knock him out anyway. The eye poke changed nothing. Dude, he poked him six times. Bro, that was the craziest attempt to save a hairline I've ever seen. Did Damon Jackson get a hair transplant? Yes. You need to get the Damon Jackson. Oh, Archie, thank you for the two bucks. Thoughts on GSP saying he would have beat Habib? I think GSP would have beat Habib. I think he'd been able to stuff the takedowns. I think overall he's bigger than Habib, and I think he would have outstruck Habib. GSP would have pumped that jab over and over and over again. Um, so, 
I'm going to keep it straight with you, homie. I've been here for a solid minute and no need to stab. We out this mug. You feel we out this mug. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but if you're saying you're leaving, you don't want to be here anymore, then I wish you well on wherever you head from here. Adios. The Hernandez response sounded slightly more harsh. M.A. Joey insult to a troll. I didn't think I saw, I saw a clip of it. I didn't think it sounded that harsh. Silva doesn't need to be cut. He couldn't even beat a 40 year old man. Yeah. We pray that Wyman gets viciously KO'd. I'm not going to pray on someone getting KO'd, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to hope for it. If it's at 155, it'd be Bragdahl's GSP. GSP was never going down to 155. What'll well, be 302 main event? It'll probably be. Uh, it'll probably be Poirier Islam, unfortunately. I really like to see someone ask Wyman about what it's like to be the first person in the UFC to finger his eyes. Yeah. I really had um introducing the former middleweight champion, he recently fingered Bruno Silva to a victory. Chris, how you doing? So um remember when Dominic Reyes KO'd Weidman? Yeah, I do. Right hand dropped him. I was in the middle of watching your vid on which 300 fight you're most hyped for, but it got cut short. Number one is Olive's arm, and I assume you have to go back and rewatch it. You have to go back and rewatch it, but you might be right. You may be right. Dude, Ian Gary had a terrible eye poke. You didn't say anything. Did he, did he eye poke him six times? Six times? Or no? Bo the man. Chael said that Wyman should fight Bo Nickel, and Bismarck said that Wyman should fight Strickland. What are these matchups? I think they're pissed about the eye pokes too. What are you doing if you see Iman on the streets? I'm definitely not gouging him in both of his eyes. And then when he drops to the ground and screams, I can't see. I'm like, you don't drop to the ground. And I just start kicking him to the body. Definitely wouldn't do that. Definitely wouldn't do that. Chris Eidman is classless. Agreed. 150% classless piece of shit. Do you think Strickland versus Usman is going to happen? No. Sources say Wyman was practicing eye pokes instead of jabs. Yeah, he was gone. <laughs> um, Shabil Kazeev quickly brutalized Biggie Boy. Where would we be in the heavyweight rankings? I don't know. Somewhere in the top 10, I guess. Bo Nickel becomes champ next year. I doubt he even fights a top contender by next year. He might fight his first ranked opponent next year. Early next year. Remember when Wyman was saying he wanted to fight Jones in the promos for Dom Reyes? Yeah. And the and the division was wide open at that point in time, if you remember correctly. There was a couple middleweight failures that wanted to come up and fight Jones, and all of them failed. It was Jacare, Luke Rockhold, and uh, Wyman. So, I think Wyman versus Nick will be a good matchup. Thoughts? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Usman called out Colby again on Insta, I think. Okay. Your thoughts on the beef between Ariel and Buckley? Dude, so many people complain about Ariel, and, and it's just, it's so dumb. The clip I saw, he's basically saying, you ask us questions that the UFC might get mad at us for answering. Well, don't answer and move on. Are you that much of a pussy? So, I don't even like Ariel, and I'm sick and tired of people making me defend Ariel. Because Ariel is literally the best interviewer in MMA. And he actually does a job of a media member, which is to ask uncomfortable questions and poke and prod. And that's what you guys get off to. If Ariel, dis if Ariel disappeared from MMA media tomorrow, the world, the MMA landscape would be a worse off place for a lot of fans. I wouldn't care that much, but for most fans... I mean, if you watch any other interview or interviewer with with fighters, none of them have the pair the the power that Ariel has to be able to freely ask questions because of the base that Ariel has built up for doing his job for many many years. So it, it's it's crazy that people constantly shit on him when he's simply doing his job. And these these are the people who are Dana White sycophants. They're UFC shills. They can't stand. 
anything negatively said about the UFC, they take it personal because they show out for the UFC. And because all the rest of the media is in such a low spot and they're such scum, honestly, just scum on a fucking boot, to be honest, because they can't ask any tough questions. They don't have the broader appeal to have the power to ask those questions. Anyone who's even slightly negative is the most negative person in the world because everyone else is dead silent on everything. So... So it makes no it makes no sense in my opinion. So um to deny that Ariel is a fool of shit, dude, and dilute it. He simply should admit what he's doing his job. Yeah, but I mean, what did Buckley say that he needed it to admit to? He said you're trying to turn fighters against the UFC. Ariel's in no position ever to turn fighters against the UFC. It's simply not possible. If you are a fighter that can be swayed by Ariel Hawani, who has literally no power against the UFC, Ariel's this big, this big compared to the UFC. If you as a fighter can be swayed by Ariel Hawani to be anti-UFC, you are a pussy, you are a beta male, you are simply... So soft and weak that you do not deserve to even make a living. If anyone thinks like people, this is what drives me nuts because I don't even like Ariel, right? And it sounds like I'm defending him here. But but to think Ariel has the power to somehow turn fighters against the UFC. Like people act like Ariel and the UFC are on the same plane. Ariel just has enough clout and has enough attention and is built enough, built up a big enough profile where he can simply ask questions that we want to know the answers to. And some of them are kind of leading questions. Of course he's going to do that. To act like to act like somehow, you know, I've seen people saying, yeah, Ariel turned Francis Ngannou against the UFC. No, Ariel's just simply asking questions. If you think Ariel's somehow controlling fighters, you're a fucking idiot. So... Levi Corvalho, thank you for the 5R. I've already read your message, but I'm going to read it again because I fucking deeply, deeply agree with it. And and I'm, I'm with it 100%. I hated Weidman after he ended Anderson's run. I'm with you 100%. I laughed when Rockhold KO'd him. Agreed. Then I felt pity after the leg break. Agreed. Now I'm back to hating him. Agreed. I'm with you 100%. So, if you want proof, just look at how Hill was clout chasing off of Ariel's video. Yeah, Hill was trying to get clout from Ariel. It's embarrassing. So, Buckley IQ is about 80-90. Let's look at different cases Buckley was referring to. I don't I don't know about Buckley. I don't like Ariel personally. He does get air of fighters on his show, and he asks probing questions. I don't tune in too often. I don't barely watch it all other than when I do a video on it. If I don't do a video on it, I have not watched it. Jamal Hill punching the air right now. This is a bad date, Joey. Come on. The Jamal Hill incident. What about that? Oh, the fact that Jamal Hill said he defended Dana White beating his wife in a club in Mexico at 53. God forbid Ariel ask him about it. Dude's a pussy. Just answer the question and say what you want to say. Jamal Hill's a pussy. Jamal Hill's threatening media members. And Jamal Hill is a domestic violence, an alleged domestic violence perpetrator. So fuck Jamal Hill. He's like, yeah, you shouldn't put your hands on anyone and nobody would put their hands on anyone. Yeah, that, that let, let's defend. Let's defend Dana White smacking up his wife in a club in Mexico at 53. But let's definitely assault my brother, sucker punch my untrained brother in front of my children and his wife. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Ariel Hawani, second fan. I don't even like Ariel. So, if facts upset you, I, I then don't tune into my channel. You don't know the details of the Hill case? I do know the details because the police report came out. Now, it's all alleged, but according to witnesses, 
He sucker punched his brother, knocked his teeth out in front of his young children and wife. Yeah. So. So. Ariel also said, I do respect fighters. And basically says Buckley has CT laughing about it. If it, I have no problem with Ariel, but to act like he's an angel. Nobody acted like he's an angel, dude. You're fucking just crying about it. So. Oh, dang. When that dropped, check my channel. I have a video on it. I disres disagree, Joey, respectfully. The point is Ariel has an agenda against Dana. Every leading question he asks is designed to put Dana down. That's just simply not true, dude. That's just simply not true. It's just not true. So, um, oh, he, Ariel has an agenda against Dana. Oh, because he doesn't carry water for him. That means he has an agenda against him. Sure. May he not like Dana White? Sure. But every fan in this sport, anytime you say something negative about the UFC, well, why do you even watch the sport? Why don't you stop watching the sport? No, you're fucking brain dead zombies is what you are. Like to act like people can't criticize. I mean, imagine dick sucking a multi-billion dollar company and its leader so hard that you got to be like, how could this media member think about this? Think about how fucking stupid this is. You are gobbling up the dick of the president of a multi-billion dollar company by saying, how dare could, how dare a media member ask a question to an employee of that company that that then employee may answer in a light that doesn't shine perfectly on the president of that said company. You're a fucking bitch is what you are. Cry me a fucking river. Like, are people really this soft? Oh, he asked a question that if answered in the right way by this person, it might make this person look bad. Fucking cry me a river. Are you guys really that soft? You're carrying water for a multi-billion dollar company. Cry me a fucking river. Like, it's just dumb. It's just fucking dumb. And I don't even like the guy. So, should I make my first UFC YouTube video? Yes. Yeah, but Ariel doesn't acknowledge that he likes stirring the pot. He pretends to be another of the milk toast journalist. It's the right to stir the pot and ask spicy questions, but he doesn't own it. I don't understand. I don't understand. He doesn't own it. He's simply asking questions. He's simply asking questions. If you want to say that stirs the pot or doesn't stir the pot, of course he's supposed to ask questions that are meaningful questions. He's not supposed to say, hey, what did you think of Dana White beating his wife? By the way, this may or may not, your answer, depending on your answer, it may or may not make look Dana White look bad. And I don't like Dana personally, so this is why I'm asking that question. You tell me unreasonable questions. It's just simply they're not there. He's asking questions that everyone wants to know the answers to. I don't even listen to it. I don't give a fuck about it, so I guess not everyone. And you guys are like, well, he needs to say that he needs to own that he's stirring the pot. And no, 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 you guys are pussies. You guys are simply just fucking pussies. I wish the fans would wake up to this shit. If you don't like it, don't indulge in it. Don't give it views. Don't care about it. Oh, he, he likes to stir the pot. Of course, he's going to ask leading questions. That is the job of a media member. He is a media member. End of story. So. Makes no sense. Okay, this this is just absolute bizarre shit. Fucking weirdos. So, fucking weirdos. You, if you're putting weird shit in the chat, immediately ban. Immediately ban. So, stirring the pot and then trying to act innocent. There's a throwing throwing the rock and hiding behind your hand. I I don't understand exactly what you're saying. I I truly don't understand. To say, oh. I'm just asking you a question that doesn't mean because this, your answer may or may not piss off Dana White that the, I'm supposed to put out a full solilo soliloquy admitting that we all know that we are all aware of that. I don't understand. So English is not my native language, but I found the channel a few weeks ago. It makes fun to watch your rage videos. Greeting from Austria. It's six sixteen in the morning here and coffee and MMA Joey. Thank you. I hope I can help you speak English better. 
if that is your goal by listening to the channel i'm glad you enjoy the channel spy d dj thank you for the 199 milk those mobs for chat what were they saying in chat weird political shit dude i fucking hate those people i swear on my life the people who are so hyper obsessed with politics if it was legal, I'd curb stomp every single one of them. I'd kick in their fucking front door in my fantasy. I'd pull them out of their fucking bed, drag them out to the curb in a fantasy world and stomp on their fucking head. So. Um, I just don't like Ariel asking fighters leading questions. Fighters are fighters. Not all of them know the answer. Well, then, then don't answer the question. Say I have no comment. It's that simple. I mean, like, you don't understand, like, I, I genuinely believe some of you guys are so fucking stupid, you don't understand what I'm trying to say here. I understand that he's asking leading questions, but if you're such a pussy, you can't handle another grown man asking you questions. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, hey, that's a question that, if I answer, might get me in trouble. So, no comment. No thank you, I'm not going to answer that. I'm not gonna, I don't want to get into that. It's that simple, end of, end of the story. So, a Shakespearean scholar. Thank you. Joey dropping the word soliloquy in a rant like he, a Shakespearean scholar. Hey, there you go. I mean, I just don't understand. What, what, what do people want? I fucking hate Ariel. I don't like Ariel. I've never liked Ariel. But he is the best interviewer in MMA. He brings so much news to the sport of MMA every single day. Without him, you guys would be fucking crying because you'd be like, oh, we don't have nothing to do on the week during the week because we're so obsessed. Okay? So get over it. Stop crying. So let's talk about bondage upset submission coming this week. I hope I hope so. So No, I don't watch your videos to improve my English. No, I was saying I was saying I hope I could help. And you understand everything I say in the video eventually is what I was trying to say. So, Levi, thank you for the two R. Obsession with small politics leaves us dumber. Dude, fucking people being so, so weird about politics. It's so annoying. So, um, Joey's on 10 tonight. Joey's doing tricks on it. Okay, I don't know what you mean, but sure. And when I say I hate, that's an exaggeration. I don't actually hate anyone in general, but I strongly dislike. When I say hate, I mean strongly dislike about anyone. So. So. I have to agree. I think Ariel definitely is biased against Dana, but his job to ask questions. Yeah, but you tell me you point to unfair questions that he's asking. Okay. Both can be true. He can hate Dana's guts. That doesn't mean he can't ask questions that are still fair. Played 36 holes today, man. I'm spent. That's crazy, bro. So. Bumdage derailing Bo Nickelodeon. Dude, if Cody Bumdage. If Cody Bumdage Batista bombs Bo Nickel. I will never say a bad word about Bo Nick about, about Cody Bumdage ever again. I'll have to call him Bo or Cody Brundage, which is actually tough, tough to do. So, well, damn, why do you hate Ariel? The reason I dislike Ariel is because for years he was dick suck in the UFC. And I said for years, I used to tell one of my buddies who used to watch, I said, Ariel is getting a check from the UFC. The dude is a UFC shill. And because he was the biggest name in the sport, that is why Dana White worked with Ariel Hawani because Ariel had built himself up. And then Ariel was shilling for the UFC because he's getting a check from the UFC. And then he has his falling out with the UFC. And now he has no credibility to criticize them, even though he can criticize them, because he used to work for them and suck them off, which used to piss me off nonstop. So he, in a way, he's ruined his own credibility, at least with me. That doesn't mean I can't see facts from fiction, all right? I'm glad to be here, Joey. I'm cooking a skirt steak on the grill. I hope you enjoy it, my friend. I could go for a steak. I just posted Chris Wyman is a cheating douchebag. Wish 
it would make a difference. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I wish it would make a difference as well. But it won't. We need to never let him live that down. I posted a video about it if you need to go check it out. Share it around if you could. So... Damn, it's been it's been subscribed for a while. It's just crazy to me that I don't know. Um, grass fed beef shank. Thank you for the four nine nine. I'm a UFC shill, but a sneaky slimy journalist is needed. He has his place. Imagine how boring MMA media would be without him. He's not even woke, just nosy. Look, I, I think people over exaggerate. Like. You can't point to questions that Ariel asked and you can say, oh, was that kind of a leading question? Yeah, if you're a fucking idiot and you don't know how to answer a question. That's literally his job. So I don't even think it's that bad in terms of the way he asks questions. Skirt steak is one of the most underrated steaks. Great with marinade and toss it in, it in a salad. Such a versatile cut of meat. Dude, skirt steak, everyone always hypes up skirt steak, I feel. I don't think it's that underrated. Uh, I love a good New York strip is what I love. I, I need to go get a good steak soon. But thank you for the 499 beef shank. So, but yeah, it's very versatile for sure. You can cut it up and put it in a quesadilla too. You can cut it up and throw it in a quesadilla. So, yeah. Where's Jack? He couldn't pay his internet bills probably. Hey, Joey, what, were you serious about you saying you could train for four months and beat Jamal Pogues? Dude, I could train for the next two weeks and beat Jamal Pogues. I got unlimited stamina, bro. I got unlimited stamina. You'd be shocked. You'd be shocked at my unlimited stamina. And, and at heavyweight, all you need is unlimited stamina. No way you say quesadilla. Yeah, I always say quesadilla. Did you hear about the PFL lawsuit? I know a little bit about it, but I'm just not an expert on that or the UFC antitrust lawsuit, which is why I haven't made a video because there's still not enough information um, about the full settlement of the UFC antitrust lawsuit, but I want to make a video about it eventually, but I just got to scrounge up all the details. Um, Joe, when you taking us to Ruth Chris, maybe tomorrow, Joe, I've been subscribed since 12 K. Does that make count as an OG? No, no, you're not. Joe, you couldn't make the heavyweight limit. I could not right now, but I would easily make it. Just give me a month. And I'll make a heavyweight limit. I gotta lose 25, 30 pounds. Cry me a fucking river. Just make yourself a dang quesadilla. Yeah. Dang it, Napoleon. Make yourself a dang go doggone quesadilla. I just sub thanks, man. Thank you for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. When I get to 100K, do I count as an OG? No, you will never count as an OG because you've been always been a pussy in the chat. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Joey Francis Ngannou said he wants one more boxing fight. Should he fight Andy Ruiz? Sure. I don't know. I don't know who he should fight. I don't know if it's just me, but I am way more excited for Turner Moicano than Figgy Cody. Now, I think Turner's going to wax Moicano. I think I think Turner's going to wax Moicano. I think Cody has a chance to get a KO. Can you imagine being ex escorted out of the Apex? Yeah. Leading questions are fine. I agree. People should not be idiots and not answer if they don't think they should or jokingly gaslight ask to put it back on him for being nosy. I mean, that's literally his job. I think people over like people give Ariel way too much credit. They're like, oh, yeah, he's so sneaky and slimy. But yet everyone knows that this is the way he acts, supposedly. So it's not that sneaky or slimy when it's the popular opinion to say he's sneaky and slimy. I mean, what is he sneaking? He's being blatantly obvious. Turner's hella overrated? I don't think so. Did you cover Robert Hamza yet? I have two videos out. I think Turner finds a KO at some point. Or a guillotine, dude. Hurts him and then subs him with a gu guillotine. I'm thinking Ganu boxing the gut who beat Joshua is a good idea. Yeah, I think you should probably go to MMA. You got a mouth on you. Cheers, my bad. Typed, okay. What's up with these questions? I'm as real as the streets. I thought you were leaving, bro. Get out of here. You didn't want to be here. Get out of here. Gilbert Burns versus Colby Covington in October. No. No. Jemayev is de developing 
acne, EPO, mark my words. Dude, I don't trust the USADA replacement program at all. At all. How far away from... How far away is Wyman from a title shot? 17 fights. Um, so you agree Ariel sneaky and slimy. It's so obvious you said it's not sneaky and slimy if everyone knows the way you ask certain questions. No, I do not think it's that sneaky or slimy. Okay, at some points some of it is, but people act like, oh, Ariel's got some grand master plan to take down the UFC and he's using the MMA hour as a vehicle to take down the UFC. No, I do not agree with that. So Do you have an IG or TikTok? Yeah, I have IG. How can Nganu come back and get his name back? His loss against Joshua ruined his image. It was the worst outcome. Dude, he fought one of the best boxers in the world. Imagine if Jamal Hill's boy comes out to the cage if Hill wins and calls you out. Jamal Hill's boy. Fuck Jamal Hill. I don't give a fuck about him or his boy. I'd curb stomp both those motherfuckers. So... You said that though, I dude. I don't know what you're getting at. I don't know what you're getting at. I really don't know what you're getting at. If you're crying about the way a media member asks questions, then point to the questions that are so sneaky, undercover sneaky, and they're gonna they're gonna confuse everyone and and turn the fighters against the UFC. It makes no sense. We get it. You want to defend the UFC at every turn. He denied asking questions that could get the fighters in trouble with the UFC. Be pissed at the UFC. Be pissed at the UFC. Don't be pissed at him. I don't understand. He's going to ask questions that he wants to know the answer to. It's not his job to think about whether or not the UFC is going to be mad about it or not. I mean, that's so fucking stupid. Andy Ruiz hasn't fought since 2022 and is a former champion. Francis Ngannou can get a win against a former champion. Um, unpopular opinion, Ariel's a goat of MMA media. No one said that, bro. He's just Ariel can't harm the UFC. In fact, UFC can harm him if they really wanted to. Yeah, Ariel has no possible way to harm the UFC in any substantial capacity. Anyone that thinks that's a fucking idiot. So, it's just crazy. Yeah, some guy does a show every couple days. Joey made me hate Chris Weidman, but I've never been happier. Yeah, fuck Chris Weidman. That's who we really should be rallying against. So, that's who we should be rallying against. Um, Ruiz would knock out Ngannou, should not fight, but punch her yet. Nice, Joey. I feel like not long ago, you only get 20 people in chat. It's nice to see the upward trajectory. Yeah, some people say, oh, I can't believe this. It's the nuanced discussion. I'm not a UFC sick fan. I, 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 I don't understand what's so nuanced about it. People act as if Ariel has any power over the UFC. People act as if Ariel is somehow making a fighter's union behind the scenes to get at the UFC. It's just simply not possible. So, the new anti-doping program is run by the UFC, not a third party. I know. 100%. What, what stops them from targeting people? What stops them from targeting people they don't like? But by the way, thank you, uh, post-break Brian Ortega. Appreciate you, man. Ariel doesn't have the power, but he can change fan and fighter perception of the company. And what does that mean? So he gives his opinion. They ch You could say that about me. Oh, you can change fans' perceptions. There's people that say, oh, I didn't know Chris Weidman was such a fucking slime ball snake. MMA Joey, 280 pounds, 5'10", 77 inch reach, 0, zero record, negative 125 favorite versus Pogues, 275, 6'4", 80 inch reach, 10, 5, okay, we get it. 5'10", I'm 6'5", bro. I'm 6'5", with my white new balances on. You watching PFL tomorrow? Maybe, but probably not. Are you on a 302? No. Is it a joke that Ariel has WWE people in now? I don't know. I don't really watch. When has Ariel ever changed perception? Do people just like to attack Ariel because he has a big platform for himself that he created? 
And so people cry about it and act like he's some sneaky snake that has the power to turn everyone against the UFC at a moment's notice. So. Um, Pat Matthews, thank you for the 499. I appreciate Ariel for being real and not being a UFC shill. He asks hard-hitting questions and gets fighters to open up a lot more and be more honest. Look, I can't speak enough because I've just recently started watching some when I've done videos. But from my experience when I used to watch Ariel back in the day or an interview here or there, 100% is the only media member who has power to ask decent questions. And he's the only media member that does ask decent questions. End of story. So... Thank you for the 499 for farting out of the blue corner. What's the donation amount to join the live? I can't do that, dude. That's too risky. People are going to say weird shit and get my whole channel ruined. So, Ariel's a PFL shill? Sure. Joey could kick Ariel's ass? Sure. Pat farting out of the right corner? Let's fucking go. Thea, thank you again for the 499, Pat. Thank you for your support of independent MMA media at 1235 Eastern. I appreciate you. Errol's odd at times, but he does have some good points and people can't take that away from him. Dude, most people who shit on Ariel just say like generic things. Like, oh, look what he did to Jamal Hill. Well, Jamal Hill was defending his boss for striking his wife at 53 in a club in Mexico. But don't worry, he'll domestically abuse his brother, allegedly. So. Um, James Lunch had randoms on his 50k stream. He was so lucky no doodles were shown. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that for a live stream. I'm going to eventually do like live member streams. Where if you're a long time member. It's going to be for a secondary member like tier. I'm going to do like a once a month stream where like. You know, a few of us join up on StreamYard and other members can watch if you don't want to participate and then we can all have a conversation. Well, I'll do it like once a month, once every two months, something like that. So. Um, Ariel, would I poke you? Okay. Do you have any copyright strikes on the channel? No, I've had copyright something else but not strikes a strike is more vicious than a copyright claim i think it's called you just video call on discord i don't know what i'll do exactly so bigger douche wyman or steven seagal wyman jamal hill proved Ariel wasn't wrong jamal literally cries about everything yeah i gotta make a video about it since I'm a broke bitch, do I have to get a tier two membership to get in the discussion? Dude, we'll talk about that when it comes to it, Jack. Hopefully you have a job by then, dude. You can afford the extra eight quarters. Quick rant. Chael mispronouncing fighter name needs to be called out. Dude goes on quantity over quality. He was saying Hebas and Nama Yunus were, were, uh, were fighting for a title shot against Wei Li Zhang. Chael has no fucking clue what he's talking about. Not a fucking clue. Yeah, that should be a members only paid kind of thing. 100%. It'll be a secondary tier. It'll probably be five buck tier for that. So. Joe, on a scale from one to 10, how diluted is Jamal? I think Jamal's like a seven or eight out of 10. Dilute it. Something like that. Being from Baltimore, are you a Javante Davis fan? I, I don't watch boxing. So I couldn't even tell you. I don't even. I mean. Generally, will I support people? Yes, but not really in a... Sp I mean, I wish I support everyone. I wish everyone success. I can't believe Chris was so ignorant to the fouls. You know, he was the other way around. He'd be crying. Dude, I wish it would have happened to him now. Imagine he got poked six fucking times. Joe, I'm watching Quiet on the set. This shit is wild, honestly, not surprising. I watched like one episode one night when I was doing nothing. There's, It's very, very rarely that I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I want to watch Shogun that everyone's been recommending. By the way, can you guys like the stream? 
Can everyone in the chat right now like the stream? It takes one second. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed. We're going to do like a three to four hour stream when I get 20K. And we're almost there. We're almost there. One big video, boom, I'm there. So, if you guys could subscribe immediately, I would greatly appreciate it. I think so too with the interviews he's given you would think Alex was a bum. Thoughts on Bo Nichols' podcast? I've never seen it. Hill decapitates Alex. Maybe calling out Chris. I can like that. Yeah, Chris is a fucking clown, dude. You watch Fury versus. You have to watch Fury versus Us Usyk. Maybe I will. If it ever happens, how many times has it been canceled now? Like three times. I mean, how many times has it been canceled at this point? Three, four times. I'm genuinely curious. I'm genuinely fucking curious how many times it's been canceled. I should see something. Damn. Those Conor McGregor videos really gave me a massive boost. You see Bisbing and Smith suggested Chris Weidman versus Strickland next. Delusional. Fucking completely delusional. I did not see it. I think someone might have posted it in the Discord though. But I didn't see what they said. I just saw like a headline. And sometimes that varies, you know. Top three organizations with best talent outside the UFC. One, PFL, Bellator. Well, PFL and Bellator are one of the same, but it was Bellator at number two before. If you give Wyman Michelle Panetta next, I 150% agree. What's the worst outcome of UFC 300? Draw in the main event. A draw in the main event would be the worst possible outcome. Why don't Saudis just poach UFC talent like they do with golf? They may eventually, dude. They might eventually do that. That'd be fucking crazy. That'd be fucking crazy. But they have enough money. They could poach everyone if they wanted to. They could literally poach every motherfucker on the UFC roster. So... Uh, why don't the sod? Okay, got it. Which fight would you not care at all if it fizzled out? Co Cody Bumdage, Bo Nickel. I just did a video. You should really check it out, though. It's a good video. It's a really good video. About, uh... About... What's my favorite fights? How old are you? How old do you think I am? I don't think one has the best talents outside the UFC. I think a lot of their fighters have been dodging the promotion lately. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with one. I haven't paid enough attention. I think Joey's like 38. He just looks old. Shut the fuck up. Bros haven't been watching UFC long enough to be a fan of Wyman just bitching and hating is crazy. Could you bet popular opinion and bet Silva? Silva got beat the whole time. I poke or not. Dude, I've been watching the UFC since before Chris Weidman was in the UFC, bro. So. 35, fuck you. Yeah, but staying up too late, growing out the facial hair. I'm going to shave off my beard. And you guys are going to think how young I am. But this is what happens when you fucking spend three years of your life staying up until odd hours, sitting in front of these fucking bright lights and abusing your throat and pleasuring other grown men. 35 years old. Damn, I need to go get a fucking, I need to go get about 12 hours of sleep per night. I need to get my beard trimmed up real fucking nice. I'm looking 35 now. Make sure you moisturize. I don't, I've never put lotion on my face in my entire life. You look like a dad of three. I, I could be a dad of three. Never know. Damn. 35. Fuck. Thirty-five years old, that's crazy. This beard really ages me quite a bit. And this short hair really ages me quite a bit, huh? I'm so tempted just to shave off this fucking beard and come back and look totally different. 
I bet you I could shave this beard, start another channel, redo the background, and nobody would even recognize me. Do you ever acne, Joey? Yeah, a little bit, but I never had that much. I've never had that much acne. Nothing crazy, at least not that I remember. Please lotion. Do you got bright skin? I've never used any lotion in my entire life on my face. I hate the feeling of lotion. I hate the feeling of lotion. It just feels, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like something a, a woman uses, not a man. So, shave your beard and your head. No one will recognize you. That's facts. We still love you, Joey. The beard's good. Maybe tighten up the sides on the hair. Yeah, dude, I need to get a haircut. Really, I need to get a haircut. You look like you slap your wife in a cl club. Using facial lotion, yeah, is kind of homosexual. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, you guys want me to get a facial? You got bright skin for someone, okay? Look. I told you guys, look, you see this shit right here? It may look like it's fucked up. Look right here. I don't know if you guys can really see it, like right about there and right around here. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see the different color and it kind of looks like there's like, I don't know. It almost looks like there's acne there and it's kind of discolored like right here and across here. And I was a victim. I was a victim. I was a burn victim. Okay. So anyone making fun of that is just a fucked up asshole. I agree. Having showers is feminine too. <laughs> Pro said you need a transplant, not a cut. That's not even remotely true. The only time I've seen Joey pull out the lotion is when Verna was on last weekend. Yeah. Just thought Dustin IG post back to work. He's definitely fighting Islam. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he is. I can't see you older than 26. I mean, I think I, I think the skin is looking pretty good. It's just the eyes that are kind of fucked up. And it's just the hair that's looking a little fucked up right now. But this is, look, look, look. This may not look like it, but this is thick hair. Look at this. This is thick hair. This is thick hair. I just need, I just need to get a better haircut, I guess. I just, now I've become addicted to just basically buzzing it off. The Chris content got me to sub. Thank you, man. Um, I don't need to get a hair transplant, bro. I don't need to. Ha my hairline has not changed since I was a kid. It might look like it on the channel because I used to have my hair grown out. It's just my preferred haircut now. You know, it is what it is. Did you see Damon Jackson's new and improved hairline? I feel like his hairline changes fight to fight. But yes, I did. Someone sent it in the discord. Bro said Joey is for sure homosexual. You're thinking about another man's sexuality that just goes to show. You you watch this stream and you want to fuck me, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, If Dustin gets the title shot, I'm going to re rebel by not tuning in to the prelims of one fight night card. Do it. Do it. Do it. Is an improved hairline the best base for MMA? No. Joey, that thing is that's going to get you is not sleeping. I know. I I need to fix that. I need to fix it. It's been it's been catching up to me more lately. Like a lot of times and nights when I need to do videos and shit, I'm like I don't feel like doing fucking anything. Also, it it feels like I've had three years straight with not a single day off. Is what it feels like. Which is really fucking bizarre feeling, you know, to realize that much time has gone by. It feels like I've worked for three years straight without a single day off, which is crazy. Because <clears throat> I used to take like two weeks vacations before I fucking, I used to take like two week vacations before I started the channel and shit and I go to fucking Florida and shit. Next time there's a break in uh, fights, I'm gonna I'm gonna like take like a week vacation or some shit and go somewhere. Joe Pfeiffer got that hairline as well. I know you said you don't like it, but with your channel sleeping, keeping you mad busy, you need might need melatonin to help you sleep. Okay. 
Um, you should save some money on the Connor Red Panty Night revenue money and get a hair transplant for 25k subs. You could be badass and get viral off potentially video names and thumbnails. No. <laughs> Connor Red Panty Night revenue. Yeah, I made so much money off of that. You're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor soon. You look young and good, no homo. Fuck with these people saying. Thank you, Byron. Thank you. I think, I think I'm a solid 8 out of 10. Look, I can't leave the house without getting at least hit on by two women. All right, but maybe it's just this this rugged beard. I'm going to be honest. I think it's this beard. I'm telling you, this beard is top of the line. It's top of the line. You got motherfuckers asking me in the comments, do you dye your beard? Yeah. Does Brendan Allen have an irritating face or is it just his personality or both? It's both, bro. It's both. 100% both. Is your MMA or a beauty pageant? It's a beauty pageant. Joe, why did you only stream two hours on your anniversary stream? Dude, because it was tired. I was tired. Bro said eight out of ten. You think nine? You think a nine? You think I was being too uh, modest? I don't know. But Dustin versus Connor, four on the same card as Chandler Hooker, too. And we can hear Connor laugh in Chandler's face. Fair enough. That'd be hilarious, dude. Fuck. Michael Chandler, the little pussy bitch, dude, just waiting and praying for another man to bless his life. Is a beer genetic or can anyone get one? I've never researched it, to be honest. I don't know. I was just born like this. I used to have, when I first met my fiance, I used to have just a couple little hairs right here on, my, on the corners of my chin. So, I think what makes Alan's face so annoying is he thinks he's a Chad, but he's not. I think what's annoying is... He brags about beating his three-year-old daughter, and then he parades her around every fight week. I think what makes... Okay, a week or two vacation to Turkey with your girl for a Turkish getaway would be sweet. Hair transplants, badass vacation, viral comeback, win-win situation. I don't think I'd be able to go on vacation and not make any videos. I had to take like a webcam with me or something. I'm giving you the greatest financial advice. You know what I think would make sense for you, grass beef, grass-fed beef shank? I think you should donate $50 with that advice. And I think that'd be really good financial advice for you because then you become one of my favorites. You, I think, didn't you, didn't you donate me a hundred a little while back, which I really appreciate it. So I think you should take my advice now. I think you should donate 50 with your advice. And I think you should go on vacation soon. Or is that MMA live stream or beauty tips? It's beauty tips. Joey, do you train any partial arts or have you in the past? Yeah, I, I wear Venom gear. And uh, so basically, I'm a black belt in everything. Uh, uh, the jujitsu is unbelievable. The submission ability that I have is unbelievable. The the I got the pure raw boxing skills I have. The power is unbelievable. UFC promotion is shit. They don't care anymore. Pre-record videos before you leave. I don't even know what you mean by that. I have a uh, I have a video ready to go that I'll drop tomorrow, and hopefully, I have two videos tomorrow coming out on the channel. At least that's the plan. What is your weight class? I should be heavyweight. I should be light heavyweight, but I would be heavyweight is what I'm saying. Joe was on street beefs back in the day. He was fucking so many. Okay. I was watching Alan's media day and he came in with a shirt that said clap some cheeks. Dude is so cringy. It's crazy. Dude, I pray Chris Curtis brutally chaos him. I meant for vacation, record videos before vacation. Then you, you can fully react. Relax, dude, but it's a lot of current events usually. So it's not about pre-recording. It's a lot of current events. It's a lot of fucking current events. So it doesn't feel the same to me. It feels weird. I predict people will crap on UFC 300 after the press conference is underwhelming. Dude, the press conference is going to be garbage. Joe, I love the full beer, but you do need a slight haircut. I do. How about you go to the vacation, come back for a good video for 25K subs and include the hair transplant. And if it gets under 25K views, I'll donate you 500. All right, I'll take you up on it. I think Hill beats Pereira. I'm 50-50 right now. What do you do to kill time besides making it content? Are you always an MMA? I don't ever really kill time. But if I have free time, I'll watch like travel stuff on YouTube. I take my dog for a walk. 
I mean, that's my free time. Play disc golf. Play disc golf. I want to buy this new disc golf backpack. I found it the other day. I was looking at it. I'm like, you know what? I might buy this shit. But it's out of stock. So I'm going to have to wait until like, you know, next week or two weeks from now. I might buy it. It's mad expensive though. It's a it's a sweet fucking backpack. How much do you guys think it is? Take a guess how much you think it is. I'm about to buy a new disc golf backpack. I, I was going to order it two nights ago. But then I realized it was out of stock. The color I wanted was out of stock. What aspect of technology do you think is mo- you're, you have most knowledge knowledge on? Audio, cameras, computers, monitors. Probably, mm, probably monitors. Probably monitors, honestly. Resolution and, and refresh rate, almost definitely. 120, 300, 900, 800. Whoa, that's crazy. 250, 239, 99. I believe it's 259, 99. I think it's 260. It's either 260 or 270, one or the other. But I was going to go order it. It's a fucking beaut. Let me go look it up real quick. Let me, let me double check. But it's fucking out of stock. It is exactly, it's 259.99, so it's 260. I'm going to buy it when it gets back in stock. I, I've had the same backpack for about a year and a half now, and it's still pretty nice, but I'm ready to upgrade. I want to look like a full-on pro out there on the, on the course. Do you play touch button in the park? Only, only with your mother. So I'm buying that soon. It's fucking pretty sweet. It's looking pretty sick. I was watching videos on it the other night. I'm like, damn, I got to get this bad boy. (laughs) I'm looking at it right now. It looks so fucking sweet. I feel like getting to 10K subs is so much work, but now that you can pass the mark, I think you could easily get to 50K by 2025. That's the goal. Next year to get 50K. Well, I spend so much on a bag, ridiculous, because it'll last you a long time. So, it'll last you a long time. It has a lot of versatility. Do you remember when Alan was holding his infant daughter, calling Hamzat Shemaev come shot multiple times? He had talked about come shots in front of his three-year-old daughter. Thoughts on Yuri Prasca's dreadlocks? Haven't seen him. I feel like, yeah, but getting to 10K, man, is a fucking grind. It's tough, man. The more you, more subscribers you have, the easier it is to get subscribers. Because people think you're more credible the more subs you have. So. The only saving in the UFC 300 press conference is Hill might argue with fans that support Alex. Dude, for all we know, Jamal Hill's going to get arrested. Cost per use for something like a bag makes it worth it if you're using it all the time. Facts. Facts, dude. People don't realize. I want to buy a new monitor too that's going to be about 1300 bucks. But it's been constantly out of stock. Did we gain 10K early this year or late last year? I believe it was like July of last year. I had 14K in December. I know that. Who would draw attention to UFC 300? Nobody has personality. Charles Oliveira. Getting to 50 is the real guy. Dude, 50 is crazy. 50 will be crazy. I found that buying one tier or two too higher than beginning equipment is always so much better and basic. Yeah, I agree. But you got to do your research, man. You got to research and see what's best. What I'm getting, I already have a nice backpack, to be honest. And I actually got it as a gift. The backpack I have now was about a hundred bucks. Um, and it's pretty sweet. It's still pretty good, but I just, I just kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a guy that likes to upgrade shit. So I look forward to it. No 50 subscribers when you first start. Okay. Yep. Yeah. For me, it didn't even actually take that long. I had it in under a month. Do you find it weird how no one on 300 has pulled out? Kayla Harrison will soon. July 2023 had two stock pay-per-views event. was a great month for UFC. July of 2023. What was July of 2023? UFC 290 and UFC 291. Yeah, they were. It was a good month. Army's going to get it the worst from the fans at the presser, probably. I see you rocking 16mm Sigma and Sony A64. Yep. Yep. 
cheap baseball bat compared to a good bat is such a big difference. I agree. I agree 100%. Same thing with uh, pretty much anything, man. With anything. For the most part. Death sentence next UFC GOAT. Huh? What are you talking about, bro? I don't even know what you're talking about. See how the Chris Weidman video is doing. It's doing all right. It's doing all right. Danny Doyle went back and watched my first video. That's crazy, bro. I just seen your comment. I just refreshed my uh, homepage studio. But yeah, it's got 1.7K views right now, but it's getting late, so it's going to die off and it'll pick back up tomorrow is what I'm thinking. So, I have a monitor worth 1100 USDA, Samsung Odyssey G9. I barely use it. Send it to me, bro. I'll take it off your hands. Now, I want to get an OLED. Death Sentence is Street Beef's champion. I did not know that. Hey, Joey, lost my job yesterday due to a massive tech firing, but got a fat severance. Send me some good vibes. Congrats on the severance. I hope it takes you far, and I will send good vibes your way, man. I'm, ha I'm happy for you. Um, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, and I, I think better things are coming your way soon. You seen Armin's recent Insta pics? Motherfucker looks more shredded than the Gamma fight. I saw a picture on Twitter circulating, and dude was straight up jacked. Dude was straight up fucking jacked. Gol good golf clubs and fishing poles can be found at garage sales for pretty good prices. Dude, I want to start a fishing channel. I need to start a fishing channel, but it's just too difficult. It's just too difficult. Too much time. A lot of editing, too. I used to fish like a motherfucker. I used to be fishing every single day. Multiple times a day. I would love to get back to that. I miss fishing. But trying to do that much fishing and then try to start a cha another channel, too, would be would be crazy difficult. But that, that would be a dream, honestly. Like a once-a-month video for a fishing channel. So, fishing is a fun hobby. Fishing and disc golf, how about breaking a sweat, bud? Yeah, I'll break a sweat on your mom's back. How about that? Jay, for my own curiosity, you sound really clear, and I wonder how close you are to your actual mic. If I was streaming, how close should I be? It depends on your microphone. But I am about a hand's length. I'm, I'm, I'm the width of my hand away from my mic. If I sit up, which I should be sitting up, but I naturally just slide down on my chair. And I can move a little bit closer. It should sound a little bit better. But every mic is going to be different. Are you familiar with auditors on YouTube? What do you mean? Did you bass fish or general fisherman? Everything. Bass fishing. Saltwater fishing. Freshwater fishing. Everything. Trout fishing. So. I used to be out there just grinding fishing all the time. Mad fun. It was mad fun. I miss it a lot. I only went fishing like twice last year. Do you think Sadiq Yusuf beats Diego Lopez? 50-50. I have like a $55 mic. Well, depending on the mic, you should just be relatively close usually. Relatively close. For prediction for who headlines, the, who headlines the Sphere card. For the first time, they did MSG. They stacked with Connor Woodley. I think it'll be uh, O'Malley Marab, honestly. And co-main event, Shevchenko Grasso. I'll break a sweat on your mom's back. I forgot I said that. Yeah, I'll break the sweat on your mom's back, Matthew. You like that? Um... Uh, said he would fight you in MMA for 250K. Should we start a GoFundMe now? Look, just tell him, just make him promise not to call the police. I'll go knock on his door tomorrow and I'll beat the dog shit out of him. But all he's got to do is just shout me out on his channel afterwards. If you never discovered the UFC, where would you be? I've been thinking about that a lot. I mean, I don't know. Also, bro, you called it. Is he DDP? Might be in Perth. It's going to be in Perth, dude. I called that months ago. I made a whole video about it, basically. About Dana being vindictive. I said he's going to be pissed at DDP. He's going to force him to fight in Australia. So a hand's length distance is a general rule? Yes. I would say six inches to a foot. 
and then listen back and see how it sounds. Bo Nickel has better socials than McGregor, Khabib, Diaz, and per- dude, socials don't mean shit. Thanks for the info, Joey. No problem. Joey, is the Jones Stipe stuff completely irrelevant and laughable? Yes. Facts, one of your best calls other than the McGregor one. Dude, I've had so many good ones. What do your guy what do you what do you guys think are, are some of my best predictions in a way? Not predictions for videos, but just predictions, general MMA content predictions like different events, different fighters doing this, different fighters doing that. Conor McGregor versus Chandler not happening. Um, you should make a diss video saying he's ducking you by pricing himself out of a fight. A good thumbnail and trolling could make that. Dude, I'm, but that's not the way I'm looking to grow my channel. I don't care about any of these other fucking clowns. I don't watch them. I don't care about them. They're irrelevant to me. I wish them nothing but success. You know, not that I'm thinking about it, but I'm just saying generally overall, I want everyone to be successful. And I'm not building my channel by calling people who might have more, you know, overall popularity than me to try to get attention. I think that's cornball. I think that's pussy shit, and I think it's bitch shit as well. I would never do that. You'll never see that on my channel ever. That shit's embarrassing, man. If you're calling out people, oh, let me call out this person just because they have a big following. No. You know? If it's absolutely necessary, yes. Like, if it's something that actually matters in the MMA grand scheme of things, yes. But I'm not calling people out just because they have followings. I don't think Dana's forcing DDP, but it makes sense because it's hard to go to Africa. It's his lack of infrastructure in Australia. Okay. I remember when Joey called out. Yeah, I called out. That, that channel is going to die. I feel bad for him. I don't even feel right about what I did. I, look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't enjoy shitting on people. Okay. I definitely don't enjoy shitting on other content creators. So it's just not who I am. It's just not who I am. It's fun. There's nothing I love more than like, if there's someone I just don't like just taking a big old fat dump on them, but that's not what this channel's for, you know? It's not what it's for. It's for MMA coverage. So now I'm wasting my time talking about other people like that have nothing to do with it. It's just stupid. Also, the Saudi video was amazing. You stated they would stack the car with stars. I know, dude. I had that ready to go and fucking Dana cucked me on that one. I don't like Bilal, but it's so funny how Strickland fans with, will be the merit police for Izzy DDP, but sideline Bilal, pick a side, 100%. A big knockout on Street Beefs would do wonders for your channel, I'm sure. He bodied them. We can no longer call it Damon Jackson's hairline. Now, that's fake. I enjoyed you saying you would murder with your bare hands. I would. I mean, that's just a fact. That's not... Like, I, I don't understand. People are like, oh, so-and-so called you fat. So-and-so called you ugly. So-and-so called you this. So-and-so said you're irrelevant. So-and-so talked about your viewers. Like, if it came down to it and there was an apocalypse, I would murder these people with my bare hands. I mean, how am I going to get upset about that? They're, they're going to talk a little bit of shit. I've got one dude on my mind. What do you think of Connor have to do to beat Chandler more coke or less? More coke. More coke. Come in coked up. DDP versus Islam. Dustin wins. No. Dustin will not win. He'll get rear naked choked. Would you want to see Volk versus Evil Ev next and who wins that? No. 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 I would fight anyone for YouTube clout. Not for pay though. I don't, I don't, I'm not going on one of these weird ass cards. But yeah. If, uh, if someone talks shit and I see them in person and I need to smack them up on video for a little bit of YouTube clout, I will. That's just facts. But Max or Justin, definitely Justin by Brutal KO. But no, I don't want to see Volk versus Evil Lev. No, I have no desire to see that. One of those should be fighting for title. I thought people were trolling by saying Bilal should get passed up. A ton of people are dead serious. Yeah, exactly. But all of a sudden they're like, Strickland deserves an immediate rematch. Connor got to have trace amounts of PEDs. Thank God of the new steroid rules. Basically, motivational Joey slacking you. When we get to 50K, I'm sure there'll be other people who want to make some funny clips. If you got KO in a boxing match, I'm not even talking. This shit's stupid. I'm not talking about that shit. It would never happen. It would never happen. Who do you think is winning, Charles or Armin? I don't know, dude. Uh, people were talking about that earlier on stream. You are talking about that earlier on stream, and I have no fucking clue who I'm picking yet. So, that's such a tough fight. Damon Jackson said he has a better hairline than you. Okay. 
What round do you think Justin gets his KO? Second round, probably. I have to let Connor take roids and only him to get a second McGregor title run. Absolutely not. Andrew John, thank you for the 199. You called Hamzat versus Whitaker fight in Saudi. Yeah, I named Whitaker as a potential opponent, but to be fair, I named a couple opponents. But I said Whitaker was one of them. But thank you, man. I did call that. I just wish I would release that video a day earlier. I knew it was coming, and that's why I needed to get to it. But then I live streamed. So I could have at least released it an hour prior. And it would have been even better. But I wish I would have released it two hours prior. Because I was slacking that night. That was one of those nights I didn't feel like doing anything. And I had a cough, too. Chase Hooper going to middleweight now. USADA's over. Probably. Imagine the hype if Connor actually gets a win. They'll talk about him in title discussions. If he beats if he beats Chandler, they'll put him right in title discussions. But I don't think Connor wants a title fight, to be honest. Dana might want it though, for big money. But it all depends on Connor's contract situation. It all depends on the Connor contract situation. But thank you again for the one ninety nine, Andrew John. I don't know if I said thank you for the one ninety nine. I think I did, but I don't know. Had a dream the other night. Bilal, Leon happened. Bilal did better, than, but the decision was getting delayed, and Dana announced Islam would be the next welterweight champ. Even Bilal haters thought it was too much. Dude, if Bilal gets a title shot in the next couple months, dude, he's beating Leon. I would have liked for Hamzat versus Izzy for number one contender match, but I see why they went the direction, but they missed the mark not doing it in Africa. They were never doing it in Africa, dude. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you guys, oh, it's in China, it's not happening. In Africa, it's not happening. In this, it's not happening. It's never happening. So... So, Charles was offered an immediate rematch against Islam fight, but technically he had one defense. What qualifies you for an immediate rematch? Three defenses? I don't know, dude. It's There's nothing that fully qualifies you, but I'd say at least three title defenses. I remember your channel being described as dead by other MMA YouTubers a year ago. You never switched up and stayed true to the channel, and the channel has never been doing better. That, I don't know about the first sentence there. I don't know who said that. But that is facts. I never switched up and I stayed true to the channel. There are ways to shortcut your way to success, okay, on YouTube. There are certain ways to do that. And while I understand it, it's just not a, an avenue that I would like to take. And at the end of the day, you just rob yourself. Because so if I shortcut my way and do certain things, there are certain ways to attract a lot of attention and subscribers. Those subscribers want that. So now I trapped myself and backed myself into a corner by doing that. And now the people, if I try to make the content I actually want to make, then I'm not going to have people that watch because they want the content they originally subscribed for, which I don't blame them. So my goal was to always to make the content that I deemed was the content I wanted to make that I believed in, that I thought was worthy of. Obviously, I'm going to take input from subscribers as well and grow the channel that way. So that way the people who watch the channel know exactly what they're subscribed for basically, you know, which is real factual news. So, but yeah, the channel's never been doing better. We, I think we got like something like 600, 700,000 views last month, picking up nonstop subscribers. It's small, but it's still doing good. So, I think fourth, fifth round KO for Justin. And if it goes distance, I lean Max. Nah, I don't lean Max at all. Wyman well, needs his teeth removed. Give him Jamal Hill. That's facts. Connor seemed to want a tune up and see if he still got it. He being realistic with a situation, shockingly, but glad the Coke hasn't made him delusional. That is true. He does want to tune up. Has the guy that clearly buys views and subs been in the chat recently? No. Shortcuts lead to weak fans. That's true. Joey, lead to a few. Joey, can you name a few shortcuts? I'm so curious, please. I've named them multiple times. One, pandering heavily to certain fan bases, pandering heavily to popular opinions, basically covering every piece of fake news as if it's real news. Um, crazy, crazy clickbait thumbnails and titles. There's quite a few things, man. There's There's quite a few things. Hating on, you know, certain people because that's the general consensus of the fan base and uh, stuff like that. There's other things, but those are the, like the main things. Like you can, if you really pander to certain fan bases or you make this like, I don't know, super casual type of content, that's not supposed to be an insult, 
but there's like a trend of very, very like casual, casual content, like tier list and shit. Like not that I'm saying anybody that does that's wrong. And, uh, like just corny, weird off the wall shit. Like kind of like just to show oh, like I'm, I'm kind of different and I'm weird intentionally is the type of shit that just makes you really, really explode. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. My newest video is going to piss people off picking Max. Dude, I can't believe you could ever pick Max. I could never. Bilal beating Leon in London might be the next crazy UFC moment. He would be a huge underdog. Dude, I'm picking Bilal if he fights Leon in London. Dude said vids about female MMA fighter who has the best booty. Was happy to hear you mention Hill's previous fight in your recent 300 video. He's coming off a brutal KO win. That should be talked about. Agreed. He was there bragging about his growth and his fake ass subs 100K in three months or something and was getting 80K views with zero comments regularly. Sounds like Tracy not big on him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly his content. But, yeah. I don't know. When Dana says there's only one guy that could do the job, you think he's referring to Frank Yeager? I don't know what you're talking about. Joey Panders, the Ian Gary fans. Not, it's not true. Who does that stuff? I'm, there's a bunch of channels that do that shit. I mean, it's just shit I've seen for 10 years now, basically. Weird shit is trending heavily in the community. Yeah. Joey, thoughts on James Krause being a real estate agent now? Good for him. Joey, how long have you been live? An hour and 26 minutes. Joey's acting like he doesn't put out clickbait videos. I do not. Bought Cyborg fight shorts. Okay. Got Bilal. Unanimous decision. Bilal got to watch out for a robbery. I can't remember the channel name. I don't remember it either. But I'm not going to shit on him. I'm not shitting on anyone specifically. I don't watch these motherfuckers anyway. Joe, I'm telling you, except for Poirier, Gaethje hasn't KO'd someone with his hands in four years. He didn't KO Poirier with his hands. I'm telling you, Max is getting slapped. I like the Bilal pick. We agree a lot, like Kobe being the second best welterweight ever. No, absolutely not. Who wins, Sean Strickland or Ikram Alaskarov? Ikram Alaskarov, probably. I think Sean Strickland's extremely overrated now. Extremely. Extremely overrated. Bilal getting schooled by Leon to take down defense too good. Dude, Leon has horrible cardio. Imagine if Bilal puts on the performance Strickland did against Izzy when fights Leon and gets brutally robbed. I genuinely cry. That's be, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy if he genuinely wins and gets robbed. Did you see the Ikram get KO'd by Hamzat? You don't think he's shinny? I mean, that was a long time ago. How long? How many times has he been KO'd since then? He got caught with like a massive uppercut. A massive uppercut. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I think Bilal wins. Bilal getting schooled, take down defense too good. Usman couldn't get Leon down at all in the second fight. And Bilal doesn't have the forward pressure of Usman. Dude, Usman had no forward pressure in the third fight is what you mean. Max never fought a heavy puncher. That's true. MMA fans are way too homosexual about their favorite fighters now. It's just like they have crushes on their fight. Dude, they're just biased, man. It's just biased. You know, I, don't, I know what you're saying. I don't think they want to fuck them, but. I got Leon still, but your take is me thinking a lot. I'm telling you, Bilal will go for it. Imagine a fight like against Colby. But if Colby actually went for it. You know? I do think Bilal wins. He has better cardio. Leon looked like shit. Washed up against what against the wash of Colby in the fifth round. And Colby put no pressure on him. Bilal will eat shots early to make Leon work. And then he will win in the later rounds. I'm telling you right now. No, they actually want to fuck him. Bilal's bad, bad matchup for Leon in a five round fight. Even Bilal couldn't put him away in the fourth and fifth round. I could I could see that happening. And think about it, Bilal's going into that fight knowing he's never getting another title shot again. Who would you rather have a five-minute Zoom call with, Hill or Weidman? Can I post it on my YouTube? Then Hill. You say that, but Colby went for it. Leon would have slept him. There's a reason. Yeah, because Colby has no striking. What I'm saying is Bilal has the striking. I know it's not that great, but he has the striking to be able to compete with Leon on the feet, eat some shots to land some shots. Bilal will be 36 years old this year. I know they're screwing him. It's sad to see. Leon and Bilal, Leon and Colby's both throw zero strikes in that fight, and Leon was still gassed. I know, that's made that Colby fight made me so confident that Bilal beats him, and I've stuck with that since. Bilal doesn't have a good chin. Yeah, when, when's the last time he's been chinned? Colby literally fought like a coward and still won the fifth round against Leon. I think Bilal has this in the bag, and especially now that it isn't during Ramadan, 
That is where Leon fucked up. I would have pushed for that fight heavily during Ramadan. I would have pushed for it. I agree Max doesn't take lightweight power while we saw it against Poirier. Also, Jack, Matt Gaethje could use leg kicks to limit Max's movement. Dude, Gaethje's going to chop up the legs of match, Max pretty badly. I think. Does Ian Gary have a chance against Bilal? Yes. Gary actually looks like he has really good wrestling. And he has good stamina, we've seen. So... Bilal Mon has to be elsewhere right now? No. Leon does not even have great power. Bilal will be more aggressive because he won't be scared like Colby, who noticed way too late that he was giving Leon way too much respect. That's literally my exact opinion. That's my exact opinion. But Bilal could get chinned. Leon does have decent power, especially with his head kicks. But, dude, I'm so confident in Bilal. Max was getting chopped by Volk. Who's a featherweight, doesn't have power. Imagine Gaethje agreed. My prediction is Leon wins three rounds. Fourth is close and fifth, Bilal dominates. That'd be crazy. I think I think Leon will win the first and second, and then Bilal will control him for the rest and maybe even get a finish in the fifth. Imagine Bilal just sleeps Leon out cold. If Holloway sleeps Gaethje, what's next? Title shot. Have you seen these Simpson clips? No. How easily does Ian beat Leon? Pretty easily. Sitting back like a pussy places perfectly in the Leon style. Pressuring him his way to, to beat him. And Bilal can do. Leon has the same amount as Bilal in the past five years. I know. I know. If you put the pressure on Leon, he's going to gas out. Me too. Bilal versus Leon is genuinely my most confident pick. I'm picking Bilal 49-46. Yeah. I'm picking Bilal either by finish in the fourth or fifth round or decision like that. Maybe 48, 47 though. 36 is old though. That's true. Leon versus Islam. I'd pick Islam. I'd, I'd 100% pick Islam. Ian wouldn't beat Leon. Ian would work over Leon bad. Ian gasses when he fights at an elevation. England is light work. Okay. When do you think Alex Hernandez will retire, get cut from the UFC? I don't know. He's been around for a while. I think he'll probably stick around for a while, win some, lose some. I think he's just one of those mid-tier guys that will always be around. I think he'll be one of those mid-tier guys that will always stick around. So. <laughs> Remember when Woodley was 36-37 and he fought till? Dude, everyone thought Till was going to win that fight and Woodley destroyed him. I just see Bilal winning the rounds and Leon catching him in the fifth. That'd be crazy. Joe, are you watching PFL tomorrow? Probably not. I have shit to do tomorrow. But maybe. If I have time. Brian Barbarina and Nate Diaz both had Leon's on skates badly. Neither is a power puncher. Maybe even slightly less than average power. Bilal can definitely do the same thing but actually finish. Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Joe, I think you're greatly underestimating Leon. No, I'm not underestimating Leon. PFL's a joke. Ian couldn't touch Neil. He ain't baiting Leon. Let me touch up. Chepe Mariscal is so underrated that he is, but I picked against him anyway. I picked it for him the first two fights. I think Shavkat would run through Leon, not because he's more skilled, because I think he would impose his physique. I think Shavkat beats beats Leon. I think Shavkat beats Leon in Bilal. I take Leon over Bilal. Islam, Shavkat, and Hamza. That's fucking crazy. He would definitely lose two of those. Bilal's top five most exciting fighter in the UFC, 100%. I mean, that's facts. So, that's facts. That is straight up facts. Damn, we've already been live for an hour and four, almost an hour and 40 minutes. Hold up. Let me see something real quick. Thanks for entertaining us tonight. You're welcome. Oh, okay.
People generally overrate how dangerous Leon is. And using Bilal biased a little too much. I can't wait to see the Bilal odds. Dude, Leon barely finishes anyone. In all seriousness, I would totally... If you open a new channel and critique movies, you have the right vibe for it. Dude, I would love to do that. I just don't have time. I would love... That'd be a dream of mine. Dream of mine. I love watching movies. I love watching shows. I just don't have any time since I started the channel. That would be a dream. Maybe one day I'll do it and do like a couple movies per month. But right now, I just don't have the time for it. Leon couldn't finish an old Cerrone or Diaz agreed. Imagine, I'm taking Chris Curtis. I am as well. Dude, so many people are picking Whitaker over Hamza. I saw that. First movie review, Roadhouse. Absolutely not. It's a garbage movie. They're going to act like it was good. GM would ne GDM, JDM would never sleep Leon in his whole life. I don't know. Dude, if Bilal's plus 250 is something, I may break my code of not betting on fights. Just to bet on that. Seriously, extremely confident in that pick. Dude, if Bilal's like plus 250, I'm betting 100 on Bilal. There's no universe where JDM sleeps Leon. I think it's possible. I'm down with the movie review channel. It'll probably never happen. There's so many channels I want to start. I would love to just start talking about random shit that happens in the world. I would love to start critiquing movies. I'd love to have a fishing channel. So. Yeah. Um, Aaron, thank you for the 499. I hated that I procrastinated at work tonight. Thanks for the late stream. What movies do you like? Shawshank Redemption, Interstellar, Ex Machina are some of my favorites. Are some of my favorite movies of all time. I love sci-fi in general. So Interstellar is my, my shit. I'm putting a paycheck on Bilal at 250. I'm putting at least 100 on, on Bilal if he's plus 250. Do you think Pat versus Volk will happen? Neither fighter signed a bout agreement. I'm going to say no. The ending of Interstellar ruined it. You must have just not understand it. Understood it. Ex Machina is a masterpiece. Fell asleep to Interstellar on a plane ride in all honesty. I went and saw Interstellar in IMAX by myself. How many hours you sleep? It depends. Somewhere between four and six. Max. I'd put 500 on Bilal at those odds. I'm just going to have a stream. And every donation I have is going on a Bilal bet. Who had more decisions, Bilal or Leon? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Ex Machina was a really good fucking movie. I'm trying to think what other movies I really like. Off the top of my head. I don't think Whitaker will survive around with Hamzat. I think Hamzat probably chins him, honestly. The more I think about it. But thank you, Aaron, for the 499, by the way. I hate when I procrastinate work as well. Sometimes I'll just sit in the chair and need to record a video and I just won't do it. It's recently started to happen to me in like the last like two months. Really this year in general. I've been procrastinating a lot on content and then I have a video recorded at like 2.30. Shawshank Redemption and Oh Brother, Where Art Thou are two movies, the most rewatchable movies. I've never seen the second one. I've never seen the second one. That's honestly a great idea. You can turn it into a vlog if you win. I mean, I don't know about turning it into a vlog, but I don't even know how to do that. I don't want to mess my algorithm up. Joey, watch Elysium. I've seen it. It's not that great, but it's been a while. I'm keeping it real. Wyman does not matter. He doesn't matter. Heat. With Val. I've never heard of that. Hamzat Gas is in round two. Then Rob takes over. Doubtful. The Town with Ben Affleck was pretty good. I saw it. I'm trying to remember what else I've recently seen. You watched Josh Redak Reacher? No. I have not. I'm trying to think what else I recently watched. Or over the course of time I loved. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I can't think of any of the other movies. Interstellar is the one of the movies that makes me cry. The Tesseract scene was crazy. Dude, when he sees the old videos, it really makes me sad. Why would Hamzat KO Whitaker? Like, I have Hamzat by sub, but I don't see him KO at all. Because Whitaker's chinny and Hamzat has nasty power. 
Do you think Bromdidge gets out of the first round? No. The commission should give Wyman's win away and give it to Silva. They should DQ him and give Silva a win. I agree 100%. Doubt Hamzat will survive if it goes five rounds. Do a reaction to Brokeback Mountain. How about I do a reaction to your mother? Yeah, people are talking about the possibility of Hamzat chinning Whitaker. We have seen Whitaker get hurt so many times now. Imagine if he gets battered on the ground while rocked. Bad news. Yeah, he's going to get, he would get destroyed, I think. People overestimate Whitaker's chin and underestimate Hamzat's cardio, in my opinion. In my opinion, Wyman versus Pfeiffer would love to see Pfeiffer test his punching power on the eye poke and cheat. Sign me up. I would absolutely love that. Would absolutely love that. I believe in Rob. We'll see. Why do you think Hamzat's cardio is overblown? Because it's the way he fights, man. He fights like a maniac. So if he tones it down just a little bit, he'll conserve his cardio. Dude still won the third round against Gilbert Burns. Dude still won the third round against Kamar Usman. Which one's the better back to the future? I haven't seen either one. Burn beat Hamza, in my opinion. I disagree. I disagree. I haven't seen the Star Trek movies. But listen, boys, it's been a real fucking good day. It's been a real good day. Real good stream. How long do we go? Do we go two hours? We almost went two hours tonight. I may or may not be live tomorrow. I have a banger Weidman video out right now where I went the fuck off about his dumbass interview. Excuse me. Burns and Usman got robbed. Disagree. Best Harry Potter movie. I'm not sure. Why does it look like you're sitting back on the thumbnails on your videos? What do you mean? I barely put myself in the thumbnail. I just take a screenshot from my videos. So it's however I look in the videos. It's because most of the time I am leaning back a little bit. Realistically, I shouldn't be sitting like this. That's how, That's perfect posture right there. But as time goes on, you kind of slide down a little bit. And the next thing you know, you're slumped over. I'm going to try to actually start sitting better. Because it's actually good for your back. Um, people are underestimating Hamzat because of the Usman fight. Even though he looked like a monster against Kamara in the round one. Usman's training too, so it's not. Yeah, dude, I, I couldn't believe the way people were shitting on it. Joe, have you thought about modeling? I've already I've been a male model in the past. But I just gave it up because I got tired of it. Being, being sexualized. So, Roadhouse starring the Victorious Connor McGregor is the best film of all time. Shut the fuck up, Pat. Joe, have you gotten better sleep this year? No. No. It's, prob- it's probably going to kill me. Usman is still good, but I don't see how they thought that it was a terrible performance. Yeah, I don't get it. I think it's better than beating bum-ass Paulo Costa. Bum-ass Paulo Costa. But listen, boys. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to try to work on that sleep. I have a banger Chris Weidman video. This is it. Go check it out. It's a straight up heater, boys. It's a straight up fucking heater on the channel. Weidman blames, literally blames, Say says Bruno Silva penetrated me more than I penetrated him. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So go check out the video where Chris Weidman talks about penetration. I'm out of here. Grass fed beef shank. Thank you for being here for the majority of the chat. Hey, Joe, I'm getting married on the 13th. My missus asked me, why aren't we going on our honeymoon till the 15th? I didn't want to tell her about 300 fair for hell. I mean, if you're getting married, you might as well tell her, bro. Look, I'm watching 300. Look, I would, I would miss the birth of my firstborn child for UFC 300. I'd send my fiance to the hospital by herself before I miss 300, depending on what fight was on. So just be honest and it is what it is, but do whatever you got to do. I wouldn't miss it. Or just watch it on vacation. Go on vacation. Watch it on your fucking phone. Isaiah. But boys, boys, go check out the Wyman video. Wyman's talking about penetrations. <laughs> Good night. Goodbye. I appreciate you guys. I might change the thumbnail on that video to say something about penetration. It'll be funny. So Joey petition to put below on 300. We should. Pat, shut the fuck up. Good night. Goodbye. Thank you guys for joining me. Like the stream. Like the stream on your way out. Like the stream on your way out. 
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I got one dude on my mind, and it's Chris Weidman's bitch ass. Thoughts on Brendan saying it's an easy night in the office versus DDP? He's fucking delusional. Thank you for the four ninety nine, Andrew John. I was just about to hit end. I was just about to hit end, and I would have missed it. Brendan Allen's a fucking clown, pussy bitch. And I think DDP would wreck Brendan Allen. So, thank you for the four ninety nine. Last donation of the chat, Andrew John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew John. Listen, boys. I may or may not stream tomorrow. I'll have a UFC 300 video out tomorrow. I already have it recorded. It's already uploaded. I just got to make a thumbnail for it, which I'll do tomorrow, which is top three reasons I hate UFC 300. But please go check out the Chris Weidman video. I put the link in the chat. Goodbye. Good night. I'll talk to you guys later.